That does not look good. I'd say we maybe have 15 minutes before that rain hits. Okay, it's slowly headed this way. We have a little drop. Um, Alright, so we're going Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. A lot more nose heavy, what do you think? Right there's a CG, I think. Should help. All right. Probably want you to try just when you get a gust where it just drops down a little bit because that might just fly right out of your hand and go, you know, back the other way. I just don't want to hit the concrete. Yeah. Okay. Let's just... All right, here we go. Hey, Demon Driver here. Okay, well, after that flight, um, I've got both of the Black Tigers, and um, this is the one that's been flying, or I've been trying to get to fly, and she's a little beat up, a couple, a little bit of damage, but I've repaired it. Uh, a little damage here in the wing, that's no big deal. Um, so she's okay. What I'm finding out is that um, I had the CG uh, basically too far forward. 
making her tail heavy. So that was the biggest problem. So I moved the CG um, uh, back a little bit to make her more nose heavy. So hopefully that should get her where I want her to be. Uh, has a 50 millimeter EDF. Has a 50 millimeter EDF that puts out about 1.2 pounds of thrust. The plane weighs one and a half pounds in the air. What I did was I modified the belly and I made a clear air scoop. And that's a 50 millimeter Dr. Mad thrust. That puts out 1.2 pounds of thrust. The plane weighs, as I said, about about one and a half pounds of thrust, one and a half pounds in the air. So it's not a one-to-one -one thrust to weight ratio, but it's damn close. It might be a tad underpowered. But like I like like Sky One, this is a totally new design. I mean, this is something that hasn't flown yet, either here in the United States or Japan. I don't know of anybody flying the Black Tiger from uh, Senkan Yamato Des, a Japanese TV show. In America, we know it as Star Blazers. Um, these were from Star Blazers. These were, this was the Black Tiger that when the battleship Yamato was in trouble or was encountering enemy fighters, they would launch these. They had anywhere, I think, 30 to 40 Black Tigers on board. And then with the later series, like Arrivederci Yamato, Final Yamato, they went to the, uh, the Tiger II, the Cosmo Tiger, and the Super Tiger, and it was a different fighter jet all altogether. But I think with a little bit more thrust, the CG moved, you know, a little bit more weight in the nose, I think we'll be okay. So I'm gonna go for a couple of more flights. I'm gonna try a few more, a few more goes, and we're gonna see what happens. I'm here alone right now, Brad. Uh, Brad had to go back home um, to have a little bit of dinner. Vance, uh, I don't think he's been able to make it out here. But it's a rainy day out here right now. It's raining right now. So hopefully it'll be clear in another few minutes and we'll, we'll try again. But, uh, you know, this is the first time I've ever, you know, I've ever flown this plane before. So I don't know, I don't have a yardstick to go by. I have to, you know, there isn't a plane like this out there in the real world that I know of. You know, the only closest thing I can go by is maybe the, uh, the, the Vought, um, Cutlass, the Chance Vought Cutlass, the F7U. This is the maybe the Cutlass with only one tail. The Cutlass has twin rudders, and this is maybe close to the Cutlass, but not quite. You know what I mean? So, ooh, see that lightning? So I'm going to wait for the rain to stop and the lightning to move away and the, to blow out, and then I'm going to get back to uh, trying to get these birds in the air. Chuck this thing. I'm gonna walk right out. I'm gonna chuck her. Uchu sen kan yamato. All right, I just did that for good luck. Gambare Kodai. Let's do this. Got no wind. All right, that's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. All right, I think I got an idea here. Let me make sure that the... Oh! Oh man, we almost had it. Ah, oh, we almost had it. <laughs> so 
Let's quickly look over uh, the damage. A little bit of damage on both noses. Um, a little bit of damage here. That's easily fixed. Some damage there. I fixed that. Um, that wing, a little bit of damage there. A little bit of damage with the under, underneath uh, um, fins. That EDF mount is broken off. So it actually saved me the job because I'm going to tear that, out, tear that out anyway and put a 64 millimeter in there. Um, as for airflow, I got this intake right there, so that helps. Um, the other one, this is, uh, this is Yukimori, and this is Kodai. So, um, this was, Al Kodai is Alex Wildstar, Yuki is Nova on Star Blazers, Senkan Yamato. Yeah. So a little bit of nose damage. Um, it's all minor, it's all minor stuff. All minor stuff. No big deal. My challenge unto you is pick a project, pick a spaceship, a fighter jet, something that you can research and know that maybe there's some thunder that no one has built yet. And I want you to go out there and build it. I'm telling you, you're going to run into the same problems I'm running into. Now, some of you may not want to post videos of you crashing. A lot of guys do that on YouTube. They make it look as if they create this grand illusion that they don't crash. That's a lie. Everybody crashes. Just not everybody posts the crash. So, I'm truthful and I show you the truth. I show you the reality of this hobby. I'm not here to lie to you or BS you. Okay? So, this is the Black Tiger from Sen Yamato Dust. This is the Black Tiger fighter jet. And with a more powerful EDF, I think she's got it. Bigger 64 millimeter EDF. Some of you, and the, I hear some of you guys saying, go with a 70. This thing's tiny. This is too small for a 70 millimeter. It's too small. Uh, it only weighs 1.5 pounds in the air. I think 70 is overkill. I think taking the 64 millimeter from the Sky 1s, putting those in here, and sticking a 70 millimeter in the Sky 1, now you're talking. So, isn't that cool? <laughs> when I was a kid, man, I grew up with Star Blazers and Kanyamato. I grew up with that stuff. So building this is just part of my childhood. I grew up with Gundam with uh, Transor Z, uh, Gachaman, um, uh, Tetsujin, Captain Harlock. I grew up with that stuff, man. So you're going to see models from all those shows coming from this channel. This is going to be an anime spaceship channel with airliners, fighter jets, bombers. You're going to have everything here. But the first step is getting out to the flight field and making sure it flies. It's never going to work if you don't build it and try and fly it. It's never going to work. It's not, it ain't going to happen, baby. So, um, I appreciate your views. Um, you know, you watch all this stuff and you don't see a big flight. You don't see long flights. I'm sorry about that, but this is the baby step. This is the first step for this airplane. Thank you for watching. I'm really, really grateful. Um, just, just thank you. Basically, for all my friends in Nihon, um, arigato wa ajimasu. Thank you. Thank you for watching, and thank you for everybody all around the world. Just thank you for watching. I, I'm so grateful. I'm honored. And uh, keep watching, because there's more stuff coming. I promise. I guarantee. Okay, it's Demon Driver. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.